Easter could be termed the time of the great surprise. Jesus, who was crucified and buried, is alive. At first, all appeared lost. The one on whom everyone placed their hopes and dreams was buried in a tomb. We can't even imagine the feeling that must have been experienced by the followers of Jesus. Everything seemed lost. Now, a group of women report that the tomb is empty. How can this be? What does this mean? Easter is the greatest of all Christian celebrations. This feast is the affirmation of all that Jesus taught during his life. St. Paul boldly proclaims, if Christ did not rise from the dead, then everything we profess is meaningless. The discovery of his resurrection slowly unfolds, and it is revealed to his followers. The disciples go to the tomb to verify that his body is gone, but they still do not fully understand the meaning of to rise from the dead. Mary Magdalene is the first to encounter Jesus, and even she, who deeply loves the Lord, does not recognize him. Weeping, she initially thinks that Jesus is a gardener. It is only when Jesus speaks her name, Mary, that her eyes are open, and she calls to him, Rabboni, which means teacher. Jesus probably used Mary's name in an affectionate way that was personal to her. Much like our parents, relatives, or friends will say our name in a manner which is unique to them. Mary Magdalene saw Jesus through the eyes of love and faith. She is the first to witness his glorified body. During the Easter season, we proclaim the Gospels, filled with the accounts of the resurrected Jesus. His presence affirms the resurrection. He brings a message of peace and forgiveness. It is now that we begin the process of identifying totally with Jesus so that his life becomes our life, which means his resurrection will be our resurrection. After a long winter, we begin to experience the warmth of the spring season. We notice the tinges of green that begin to dot the landscape. It's life bursting forth from its wintry grave. After a long Lent, we burst forth in celebration, knowing that the love of Christ has conquered death and sin and gives us a new life in him. See you at Mass.